we started the channel on Cakewalk, which was a Catalina 42. Love that boat. Still kind of miss her, but that was back in the days when we weren't living on a boat, and do you remember we actually had jobs in a house? And now we have Isabella. And that's all we have because we sold our house, we quit our jobs, and here we are. And gotta say, no regrets. What a day to go to the beach. A lovely balmy day. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's been raining off and on for the last couple of days and finally got a little bit of a break, so we thought we'd go beach it. Yes, life's the beach. <laughs> We're beach bums. I'll say. We've been keeping a close watch on the weather. Hurricane season's definitely here and things are uh, really starting to heat up yeah. and we are hoping that everyone stays safe. We have some friends that are actually anchored in that area and we're keeping our fingers crossed that they'll be just fine. We decided to party in Key West and go back to the Garden of Eden and get naked. The Garden of Eden was fun. Karen certainly wasn't wearing this much. Meanwhile, back at the boat. I thought we'd try to visualize the bo bottom of the boat uh, with the GoPro, but you know, there's too much stuff in the water and I know it looks green. Um, at different times, it looks blue. While we were out, we decided to do some depth soundings around the boat. Karen's armed with our trusty handheld sonar. Looks like it got a little hot out here. The mangroves look pretty cool. This is low tide, and this is a very old shipwreck. Um, but now it looks like it's a, a bird condominium. This is high tide, and the birds are still there. They just won't go away. Karen is expertly preparing some great looking salads. I've never liked the existing uh, freshwater distribution manifold, so I'm going to build another one. So what's this jumble of uh, fittings here? Well, they are going to become, as you can see from my precise CAD drawing here, water manifold. If I was that manifold, I would want you to stick your pipe in me. Beautiful. There we go. Two manifolds, one hot, one cold. Uh, this one will have uh, valves on it so you can shut off individual sections which I think is proper. Still need to glue them together. Just laying them out to make sure they'll fit. We put alignment marks on all the parts so that when they're glued, they will line up as they should. Steve, you really should be wearing gloves. To 
me, that's kind of like wearing a condom. Not as much fun. Let's speed this up and get the job done. This is almost like putting together Legos, except you have to make your own connectors. This is random, but I think Karen has a really nice butt. Steve, do you think this is boring video? You may have a point. We make sure we have good ventilation because the PVC primer and cement give off a lot of fumes. I'm really glad you sped some of it up. I'd really rather be back at the beach. Or even looking at a dirty dinghy box. Before installing the manifold, we thought we'd pressure test it. So Steve has hooked up a piece of hose and we're going to run some water through and make sure it's not going to leak. It uh, passed the leak test, uh, at least up to the valves. And then I have a plug here, so I turn this on. So now I know up to this piece here is not leaking. Ready to install? And I love our label maker. It really cleans things up. I'm just unhooking and hooking up a hose one at a time. I've hooked up the one going to the water heater. Well, it's kind of installed. It's hooked up, no leaks, and uh, it needs to be secured to the wall. There's the old one. The new one. Hey, it's a work of art, if I do say so myself. Karen, I'm going to twist and use your nipples. Well, that sounds pretty interesting. I think I should uh, save your nipples. Yeah, I like that. We love getting together with friends and with viewers. So we had some friends come and visit us and stay for a few days. And as a thank you gift, uh, one of them actually sent this Isabella tile. It's beautiful, and we just love that. And we'd also like to give a shout out to Steve in Detroit, who we actually saw during the boat shows and then ran into, or boat races, and then ran into the other night. And also to Jack and Amy, who visited our boat and were so sweet. They brought all kinds of fruit and yeah, wine, my favorite. And we'd also like to give a shout out to Tom, a super nice fellow that we met for pizza and drinks.
a lot of fun. I'm an expert.